Hello everyone, Michelle here from Acrylic Mixology Art. Welcome to my channel. If you're a subscriber, thank you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you uh, enjoy the video. So this is my uh, second painting. Um, I don't think you can see me. Oh, oh, yeah, you can. See all that? Yep, that's scraped. So, yeah. I used... Uh, this ultraviolet, ultramarine violet, and then there's also another one that uh, blows up for me every time. The light blue violet and then the ultramarine violet. I use these and it just turns gray. It just like you saw. So I completely removed that. I'm going to try this again. So if I do a straight pour, flip cup, green pour, whatever, I usually just try and mix the paint that I need. If I have any left over, I'll store it in these little containers. And the previous pour that is now on my table, I just, you know, made enough of what I needed. And I had all these. I keep them in my, um, my cabinet over here um, in these containers. And then if I need something, I just go grab it, right? So that's what I did with this. So we have... Uh, a multitude of colors and some of these are mixed together with other colors like this is uh I think this is I'll tell you exactly what it is this is a uh, turquoise blue and I had a little bit of aquamarine left from a painting and so I just mixed them together it's actually quite pretty so anyways uh titan no unbleached um titan unbleached titan buff I think this is leftover this is um, cayenne, Golden's cayenne mixed with um, Sapphire Extreme Sheen, dab white. So I had rose gold. Well, it wasn't really rose gold. It was copper with some, some pink tourmaline mixed in because I wanted it just a tad darker. I didn't have any more, so I did have some, some 24K over there mixed with um, iridescent bright gold from golden this this is actually an individual color this is pastel pearl pastel green i love that color this is a deco art um navy i think yeah so anyways that's what i'm gonna do I'm gonna, i took the purple out so i'm thinking this might work i'm gonna do a um a flip cup do a couple layers of these i do have a van dyke brown but I just felt like it was going to muddy it. So I think I might put that down. And it's thinner. So I might just put that down as um, a little base coat. And flip on it. And see how that works out. Um, yeah, some of these colors. Hopefully these colors will work. These are a little thinner than what I normally use. And hopefully I have enough of them. Oh, the cups are sticking. I'm on a 24-inch wood round. I think I'm going to make a, make a table. Put some legs on it. If not, it, it can be hung on the wall, too, I guess. Lazy Susan something. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I meant to do my white dirty. Next time. I shall do it next time. I'm going to use this up. Why not, right? <clears throat> this, um, I think this is thinner. Seems to be uh, reacting. Hopefully, it 
it'll be okay. Now, if you're, if you're new to full at art, I, I think the single biggest thing of importance is the consistency of what you're using because it's not consistent. It will absolutely crack you. This, this tighten or unbleached tighten buff, whatever this is, it's thinner than that turquoise. You can see the little halo is not sinking, but it is definitely thinner because of the halo I'm seeing. I'll do my white on high. That's what I meant to do before. Use up this 24K. I think I don't think I have any left in the cup. So yeah, not um I don't make up big batches of color and then just you know grab it off the shelf. I do make up uh, like a three ounce little uh, little little jars or four ounce whatever I happen to have of these in the bloom stuff. I do do that, um, but it's in a, a sealed container with a lid, so no no issues on any of it drying up. I thought I saw some Facebook group someone had going to a paint they had mixed and came back and there was like mold or something in it. So I do, uh, if I do make too much though, I don't want to just throw it away, especially if it's good usable paint. And it's not even just the paint. Sometimes it's, it's you know, all the ingredients that you mix it with. Some of it is not cheap. So I feel like, you know, why waste it if I don't have to? Which is why I just put them over there. I can't decide whether, I, you know what, I'm not going to put that Van Dyke Brown down. Um, until I need it. Because it is thinner. And I don't want a bunch of brown cells in here. Although that might not look bad. But most of these, most of these are empty. So I will put them back. And leave them in case I mix up that batch again. I have it there. So let this churn for a second. Got some interesting cells. Well, at least I know it's not going to turn gray like this other hot mess. I knew that when I was mixing it. I knew it. I'm like, Michelle, you're going to do this, and it's, it's going to gonna muck it up it's gonna gray you know it and sure enough that um, that's a video you won't see it's all good though to scrape these. I do have a little concern that I don't have quite enough paint. I do love these colors. Um, definitely a fan of blue. Which of my favorite colors, green. Specifically, um, like a uh, olive green. That's my favorite color. Maybe it's just from spending too much time in the military. I don't know, but yeah. Just closing these holes in some. I can go off anyways. No room. I might regret this. I am going to do a little bit of the brown here. 
I actually did want to put this in, but with it being uh, so thin, I didn't want to deal with um, thickening it up and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully it won't get too much brown. Brown doesn't bother me though with the uh, paints with blue because it kind of you know looks like a river or mountain stream or something so this also uh vandal brown was from a pour i did although i'm not sure why it's so thin because most of my paints are thicker except dutch pours those are pretty thin but everything else i, I prefer on the thicker side all right let's tilt this out <clears throat> And actually, I apologize if you can't see. I'm thinking I'm just going to kind of do this in a little circle. I have no idea where my cups are. Oh, there's two of them. Ah, the other one's over here too. All right. Very watery themed. I guess that's okay. Hmm. It's quite pretty. Way better than this ugly mess sitting over here on my table. I like the um, the unbleached Titan buff, unbleached white. It's off white. I'm just gonna call it cream because that's kind of what it is. I like how that's mixed in and softened some of the other colors. Hmm. Got some some crazy right here. You know what? I wonder if that's that unbleached, the cream color, because it was thinner. I could tell it was thinner. As soon as it, oh, oh, it always helps if you don't put your glove in it. Uh, as soon as I, oh, and you did it again. As soon as I put it in the cup, I could tell it was thin or something was going on with it. There is another booger in here somewhere. You know what this reminds me of? The, the what's that called? Blue hole, big blue hole, that really deep cavernous hole in the Bahamas. I've never been to it. I've just seen documentaries on it, but that kind of reminds me of that. the tweezers. <clears throat> Just looking to see if there's any parts that don't care for. I'll break that up a little. I'm not a total fan of this. I can take this off some. This is so much easier if I just did this with one hand, but. I'm gonna go up. You know what? I'll be right back. Okay. I do this so much easier with the these big rounds. 
and holding them intentionally. I still have quite a bit of paint left on here. I might lose my big blue hole. Well, maybe not. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to tilt this back now. You're not going to see the view, and I apologize. Well, I found that other booger that was hanging out. Oop, I lost it. Dang it, where'd it go? That's when you tend to see them, you know, when, uh, <clears throat> when you're tilting. My head is over there somewhere. Dang. Yeah, now I'm starting to get that dark brown. Yeah, I tell myself, self. Don't do this because you know what's going to happen. I mean, I don't listen to self sometimes. And it happens. There was a booger in here. I'm going to find it. I am not totally sure how this is going to dry. The brown is integrated on some of the edges on this side. Not really neat, a little tad of it over here. But what I'm more concerned about is that cream color. Because I think that's what's causing some this crazing that I have going on. Now, some people like crazy and they like the design of it. And, and that's cool. Technically, though, it's happening here as well. It's not the best result, <laughs> but we shall see. I got to keep my little blue hole and open this up a lot more by tilting it. <clears throat> I can't, if I tilt all that off, this is really just going to stretch everything that way. And it is really going to look funk five. I kind of liked it a little better before I tilted it, but... It's okay. So I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I don't think I'm gonna move it anymore. I don't really see anything else that's really, really bugging me. Um, I love the colors. The creasing is kind of growing on me a little bit for this particular thing because there's a lot of movement in it. You know, if the crazy was all white, this would look like a frozen landscape that's melting. Honestly. Um, yeah, I think, I think it's okay. These colors will go in one of my bedrooms. So, hey, if it doesn't dry okay, guess where it's going? I'll bring you guys in so you can see a close-up. I apologize for the glare. It's my friend. <laughs> Never leaves me. Always there for me, right? Right? My glare is always around. Yeah, so imagine this in here, instead of being that uh, cream tan color, imagine if that was white, how that dark blue underneath would look. It would look like it was frozen and melting um, 
you know, thawing out, spring thaw or something. For sure. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Wow, this is a long video. Y'all have a wonderful day. Um, have a, a good uh, Memorial Day weekend. Be safe. Go mix it up.